be in and out. Okay. Hi, I'm Don Ports, fisheries biologist with the Bureau of Reclamation. Here uh, we see a fish weir. Uh, we're capturing juvenile Chinook salmon, both uh, par and smolt uh, fish, on their uh, migration downstream in the San Joaquin River. We see here, uh, this is a fish weir, and behind me we see a, a fish collection box. So fish that are moving downstream encounter the weir and are directed into this, uh, this collection box that you see behind me. And uh, this, this collection box is checked once a day, and then these fish are assisted uh, downstream in a, in a truck transport tank, and then are released to carry on their, uh, mi uh, their migratory activities uh, downstream, and hopefully to come back uh, a future day. So uh, what you see, obviously a lot of the water can go through the fence weir, and it's, and it's constructed in a certain way that the fish don't get impinged. And you can see the water here moving down along the screen. Some of it does pass through the screen, but the majority of it continues on to the collection box. Uh, once in the collection box, there is a, uh, it's a fike, a little screen wall that comes together to a point, so it's very difficult for the fish to swim on out. Uh, and so those fish are basically trapped in there until we come uh, once a day to, to collect them. Uh, larger fish are inhibited from going into the box. There's some bars, uh, much like a jail cell kind of, for the, keeping other fish out and keeping our fish in. So larger, more predaceous fish, uh, the pike minnow and, uh, and other largemouth bass and that sort of thing, uh, have a more difficult time swimming in. Our fish are safe from those fish and uh, we can collect those and, and move them downstream to assist them on their, uh, on their journey. What's the total length, uh, Chuck, on that one? Good. 79. 79? Yeah. Okay. It says beautiful par marks on there. Wow. 